In this presentation, we are going to learn cascaded systems. The word cascade, the word cascade in its verb form, in its verb form means arranging objects in series, arranging objects in series or sequence. So cascade in its verb form means arranging objects in series or sequence. So we can say that cascaded system is a system in which objects are connected in series and as we are dealing with amplifiers, our cascaded system will have amplifiers connected in series and these amplifiers and this amplifiers can be same or different. So in simple words, we are going to connect different amplifiers or same amplifiers in series. You can see we have connected N amplifiers in series. This is the first amplifier. This is the second amplifier. This is the third amplifier. And this one here is the Nth amplifier. And our prime aim is to calculate the total voltage gain. Our prime aim is to calculate the total voltage gain. The total voltage gain is the voltage gain of this whole system in which we have connected different amplifiers in series. The first amplifier is having the loaded voltage gain equal to AV1. The second amplifier is having the loaded voltage gain AV2. For the third amplifier, the loaded voltage gain is AV3. And for the nth amplifier, the loaded voltage gain is AVN. This resistance here is the load resistance and voltage across the load resistance is our output voltage. Let me write this down. The voltage is output voltage. The voltage here is the input voltage. Let's talk about impedances. The input impedance of the first amplifier is ZI1. The input impedance of the second amplifier is ZI2. In the same way, we have ZI3 for the third amplifier and ZIN for the last amplifier, the nth amplifier. The output impedance, the output impedance is ZO1 for the first amplifier, for the second amplifier, the output impedance is ZO2 for the third amplifier, ZO3 and for the last amplifier, ZON. Now let's talk about input and output voltages. The input voltage for the first amplifier is same as the input voltage for the whole system. And let's call the input voltage for the first amplifier equal to VI1. And you can see VI1 is same as VI. VI1 is same as VI. The output voltage, the output voltage is VO1. The input voltage of the second amplifier is VI2. VO1 is same as VI2. VO1 is same as VI2. The output voltage of the second amplifier is VO2. The input voltage of the third amplifier is VI3. The output voltage of the third amplifier is VO3. You can see VO2 is same as VI3. VO2 is same as VI3. In the same way, if we talk about nth amplifier and n minus 1th amplifier, then VO n minus 1 is same as VI n. So these are different parameters in our cascaded system. Now we will find out total voltage gain. But first I want to make one thing very clear. This voltage gains, this voltage gains are loaded voltage gains. This means if we talk about first amplifier, then AV1 is calculated with the load. And what will be the load for the first amplifier? The load for the first amplifier is ZI2 the input impedance of the second amplifier. In the same way, we have calculated AV2. 
the loaded voltage gain of the second amplifier with load equal to ZI3. So this is very important point you must keep in your mind because in problem you will be given the no load voltage gain, you will be given the A, V and L, the no load voltage gain and by using the no load voltage gain we have to find out the loaded voltage gain and once we have the loaded voltage gain we can calculate the total voltage gain. So let's move to the calculation of total voltage gain and for the calculation of total voltage gain let's consider there are only two amplifiers in this system let's say the cascaded system is having only two amplifiers and because of this reason I will call the total voltage gain AVT prime and once we have this voltage gain we will generalize the case so let's find out AVT prime first and then we will find out AVT in which there are N amplifiers connected in series. AV1 A V1 is equal to VO1 VO1 divided by VI1 VI1 the voltage gain is equal to the ratio of output voltage to the input voltage in the same way a V2 A V2 is equal to V O2 V O2 divided by V I2 V I2 and as we are having only two amplifiers in this system the output is going to be V O2 and the input is V I1 which is equal to V I. So A V T prime is equal to V O2 the output of the second amplifier divided by VI1, VI1. We can also write this as VO2 divided by VI2 multiplied with VI2 by VI1. This is same as VO2 divided by VI1. And we already know VI2 is same as VO1. So in place of VI2, I will write VO1. VO2 by VI2 is equal to AV2, VO1 by VI1 is equal to AV1. So we can write AVT prime, AVT prime equal to AV2 multiplied with AV1. So the total voltage gain is equal to product of individual loaded voltage gains. So if we are having N amplifiers, the total voltage gain AVT is simply equal to product of individual loaded voltage gains which are AV1, AV2, AV3 all the way to AVN. So AVT is equal to AV1 multiplied with AV2 multiplied with AV3 all the way to AVN. So this is the expression of total voltage gain. I will clearly write this expression once more. A V T the total voltage gain is equal to A V1 the loaded voltage gain of the first amplifier multiplied with A V2 the loaded voltage gain of the second amplifier multiplied with A V3 the loaded voltage gain of the third amplifier all the way to A V N. Remember this result. Now we will talk about current gain. Current gain is very easy to calculate. The current gain is the total current gain and it is equal to minus of AVT the total voltage gain multiplied with ZI1 the input impedance of the first amplifier divided by the load resistance. So using this formula you can easily calculate the total current gain and using this result you can calculate the total voltage gain. The formulas are very easy and you can easily derive them. The only important thing is related to this voltage gains. This voltage gains are not no load voltage gains but they are loaded voltage gains. So in problem if you are given the no load voltage gain just use the formulas we have derived in the two port systems approach to calculate the loaded voltage gain and once you have the loaded voltage gains you can easily find out total voltage gain. 
This will be more clear in the next presentation when I will solve one numerical problem. So this is all for this lecture. See you in the next one.